Hello, it's been a while, but you know what they say, a week before your birthday, take it off, the week of your birthday, take it off, and then the week after, pretty much take it off as well. So I was really just following by the rules. I did miss you. I finished off my birthday three weeks with a great, distant, safe visit with my granny the other day. It was a perfect way to end it. So here I am. We're back. A couple NHL awards were given out the other day. One very deserved. The other one, I don't really get. Sean Couturier, Frank J. Selke. Great player. A couple years ago, I thought, ah, what is he going to be? A third line, fourth line guy? I'm not sure. But no, he's he's top six. He gets points. The most efficient guy in the faceoff dot. Sean Couturier, very well deserved on a great Philly team. Congratulations. To me, not so much deserved. The Jack Adams Award to Bruce Cassidy, head coach of the Boston Bruins. I get it. The team's really good. And he's a great coach. Nothing against him. But you, just because you win the President's Trophy doesn't mean you should win the Jack Adams Award or even be a finalist. I got John Tortorella, who is a finalist. Great job with all the players that they lost this year. Uh, what, because John Tortorella is mean to people sometimes that he's not going to get your vote? Come on. Uh, you got... Elaine Vignon, Philly, yes, absolutely, deserve to be there. But I'm looking at guys like Barry Trotz, Travis Green in Vancouver. Where were those guys at? I'm not on board with the Bruce Cassidy thing there, but hey, congratulations, it happened. People who vote, they vote the way they want. Speaking of thanks, thank you to Norman Powell for showing up in Game 6. Without him turning into a beast for the Raptors, they don't win that game. And this series is over. So we got Game 7 tonight. Very excited. Spicy P, where are you at, bro? Where are you? We need you. 22 to 27 points from you tonight. The rest of the team does what they do. I think the Raptors win this game. Boston's good. It's going to be a battle. These teams must be tired. Can't wait to watch it. Whoever wins goes on to face the Miami Heat, knocking off the Bucks. Huge. I underrated the Miami Heat when the playoffs first started, but after watching a few games, not too many, like, they're really good. They got a lot of pieces. Jimmy Butler, already a great player, but now I'm really seeing this guy's a leader. And if you want to get behind him, you know, and just use him as your horse, he's great. He'll take you places, 100%. I like Miami. I like Jimmy Butler. We'll see what happens tonight. But let's go, Raps. I really, really, speaking of basketball here, I want the two LA teams to face each other. I think the Lakers are going to get past the Houston Rockets. Uh, you still have to have a big man in the NBA. I know it's all about shooting right now, but the Rockets go small. they got a bunch of six-foot guys. You still have to have a big man. Anthony Davis down low for the Lakers. Like, he's going to get it done. The Lakers are going to win this thing. I don't know what the, what the series will be or whatever, but they will win. The other side, I think the Nuggets are going to run out of steam, run out of fuel against the Clippers. The Clippers are just way better systematically, everything with Kawhi and all that. We're going to get an LA, LA West final. Can't wait to watch that. Hockey. Wow, where have we been? Tampa Bay, they're really, really good. They're really fun to watch, and I think they're going to sweep. I think it's going to happen. Hot take here. Not really. Can you imagine being an Islander fan? You're six seconds away from overtime. I mean, then you know, who knows what's going to happen. But I don't want to watch the Islanders in the final. They're too defensive. Same with Dallas. Dallas is up 2-1 now thanks to an early overtime goal from Radulov yesterday. I mean, I get it. No matter what teams play each other in the final, they're going to bang. They're going to hit each other. It's going to be very skilled, but just a little bit too tight for me. I want to watch Tampa Bay all the way. So much skill. I think Tampa might get it done before you, before Sunday is over. Vegas, huge game tomorrow. Can't wait to watch that. Vegas has it. They just got to put it all together. They're going to bang with Dallas. Anton Kadobin, unreal job. I'm still going to take Vegas. Let's go. Give me it. Finally. Football is back. Football is back. Started last night. I was incredibly wrong. I know all of you watching this, you probably already follow me on Twitter at Groomers Take, but I had a terrible take yesterday. I thought Houston was going to cover that nine points. They did not. Kansas City, for me, already early favorite to win the Super Bowl. Um, Mahomes, incredible early candidate for MVP after one game. Uh, but hey, football's back. Can't wait to get into them. On Sunday mornings, I'm going to do quick little videos. Uh, we're going to see how we do all season long against the spread, picking all our, making all our bets, taking all our picks. It's going to be fun. And uh, that's it. That's all. That's all I got. 
This was Groomer's Take. Thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.